ever yeah. in this in yeah. this series. Uh, but it would have to be quite a lot of them actually. There are a few of them. I, I love the, the stuff that the Marquis wanted to. There were some really good scenes for me. And uh, the stuff with Nana I've enjoyed. Um, in uh, what's the not return to grace, the one before that. Indiscretion. Indiscretion. I enjoyed that one a lot. Even though we're off the desert, 118 degrees, whole makeup, wardrobe, me neither. But I'll tell you what, I came out of it so much better than I thought because I had the worst. I was ready for the worst. I was ready for healing over. I truly was from the heat. And they took care of us so well, uh, the crew and all, that it wasn't that difficult. I thought it was going to be hell, but it turned out we got through it pretty smoothly. And there's some wonderful scenes in there. I love them. Where was that film, The Desert Scene? Sorry? Where was it filmed, The Desert Scene? Uh, what is it? Was it in What's the name of that prison? No, no, there's a, there's a, there's a prison it looked that like this it area of the desert is named after. No. Highway 15. Eagle Mountain? No. Is it in California? Highway 15. No. There's a jail. What is the jail? Yeah, it's down No. Anyway, we're on the desert. It wasn't far away. <laughs> yeah, it wasn't even that. Maybe 50 miles outside of Los Angeles. I'll think of it if I come up with it on it. Yeah, Steve. Uh, because it's, it's, a, it's an opportunity to come, you know, it's a once in a 
lifetime opportunity. I'm not going to get it again because I'm not a kid anymore. And so, so I've got to run with that now. But I get it. No, I was just going to say something when he was talking about Rachel's daughter. Uh, I, I, my son popped into my mind, who was, uh, uh, called me about three months ago. And he said, Dad, I want to talk with you. And whenever he says that, <laughs> I kind of say, well, okay, something's wrong. Or got some girl pregnant. <laughs> So I didn't know what to expect. I said, sure, okay. So we, we meet for dinner. So we met. And small talk went on for about half an hour. And I knew something was there. So I said, uh, come on, Michael, what's up? Tell me. Be honest. Just hit me with it. So he said, well, okay, now don't get upset. <laughs> he said, I want to take some acting workshops. And my first reaction was, great. But it wouldn't have been that way a few years ago, because I've always discouraged it, because I know from my own experience, even though I've been pretty fortunate, uh, kept my head above water, which is pretty fortunate, uh, but I've seen, I've seen a lot of horror stories too with people who wanted to be actors and who couldn't, didn't fully understand it, had no training or whatever. So I've always sort of discouraged him, I, I've never let him led him on to think that this is what I'd like him to be doing because it's a rough business and uh, it takes a certain, a certain commitment and sacrifice and all those things. So when he told me, I said, all right, but his motivation for doing it is what's most interesting to me because he is not an ego trip or anything like that for him. He really wants to see what's been in my heart, his father's heart. He wants to find out what it is that's motivated me all these years. And he wants to see what it is about being an actor that, that, that excites us. And so I thought, perfect, you, you know, he's a young man now, he's no longer a boy, he's making some rash decision with his life. He's graduated UCLA, he's got his credentials, he's got all those things. And it's not an ego trip, it's a real exploration of his own uh, uh, his own psyche, really, and psychological exploration. So I think it's great. And I don't know where it's going to go. I think he's a beautiful young man, but it certainly takes a lot more than that to be successful in the ultimate sense of what Andy and I talked about. Looks will get you to a certain point, and after that, you better be able to deliver. And that's where a lot of these young stars are going to really shocks. <laughs> when it comes to doing some serious stuff that takes some uh, uh, discipline and some training and know how to move and how to talk and all those things, they're going to be into some shocks. They're going to fall on the face if they've been towards. So, I, that's all I want to say about my son. Is I'm, I'm very proud of him. 25. Can I ask a favor? If I had a monster. When you ask a question, give your name. I, 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 you know, I would love to, like, you know, what it is as much as possible to begin to like the name of the space and see if I would have a name. Yeah, please. please. Yeah. I'm Kathy. Kathy, thank you. Uh, you were on episode at least one of Yeah, we gave. Well, you know, actually, I, I worked with Kate for the very first professional job. It was a soap opera called Ryan Stone. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, some of you will remember. Uh, and um, and I played her older brother, Frank Ryan. She played Kate Ryan, not Kate. Uh, Mary. Mary, thank you. Uh, Your sister was Siobhan. <laughs> Yeah. 
I am a big Star Trek fan. Yeah, I've worked with Kate. I mean, like it's it's good. It's good. It's, it's, it's wonderful. Now I'm going to have you say I get a chance to work with her again. And in fact, we're going to have lunch before I, I do the Voyager episode, so she can tell me, you know, like uh, uh, which people not to piss off. <laughs> I know, I know, you know, all the rules and all that. I've had a lot of 